Hi guys. Well, old man Winter seems to have finally, uh, finally broken through here at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York. It is Monday morning, November 1st, 2021. Good Lord, we are heading into the last two months. So, uh, you know, so I go on the mainstream media today figuring, you know, that the that COP26 should be the number one headline on the planet in the mainstream media since uh, everyone on the planet is, you know, hanging by a thread to make sure that COP26 saves the planet. So I go on the mainstream media. Let's count where in the mainstream media the first time you see COP26 mentioned. All right, we have a Halloween party shooting is the number one story on the planet. Two, three, four, five, so nowhere in the top six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, all right, the 22nd biggest story on the planet, and uh, it, of course, it is David Attenborough uh, getting the billing for uh, the first mention. Attenborough calls on COP26 to kickstart recovery. Yes, said the 95-year-old hopium addict, quote, there is every reason to believe that the answer, meaning can COP26 save the planet, can be yes. Every reason to believe that COP26 can save the planet. Uh, but anyway, I did enjoy, uh, I've already gone through the uh, Rolodex. I just wanted to show you how far down. I did get a laugh uh, out of the lines waiting to get into the place, this absolute chaotic clusterfuck that these planet eaters cannot get in to COP26. Uh, did you see the story about the tree falling, <laughs> the, dead, <laughs> the dead tree falling over the railroad tracks uh, and, and people could not get in? But anyway, guys... You can decide, uh, of course, my battery is getting ready to die, but this is going to be quick. Uh, this is a video from Madagascar, uh, one of these sidebar stories. Madagascar on brink of world's first climate change driven famine. There you go, the climate change driven famine. And of course, what they do in the story, this is a video, is they guilt trip uh, the rich countries for, uh, it is the rich honkies in Europe and the U.S. is the reason why Madagascar is having a famine. Uh, it, it, it is our fault. And I'm not, and I'm not denying. Uh, okay, I'm taking my part of the blame that Madagascar is having the world's first climate change-driven famine. But uh, of course, uh, let's look at a little bit of this video. Of course, we have to wait through a car ad. I think is this a car ad? It looks like a little uh, miniature Greta Thunberg. Uh, okay, we have to wait for a 30 second, no, it's a cell phone ad. I am getting my first smartphone uh, on Wednesday. Okay, so let's... Uh, David Muir, the first American network... We're going to... To leave the land. Yeah, to leave the house, to leave the land, to leave the village. Okay. The children in the distance. They're walking talking the about the, uh, the the farmland now bare farm. and we find the village. Their children okay. for help. The baby boy dangling from the scale, where the children are with. It's all about Were the you children. Worried about your little boy. Yeah. 
she was worried because this child is uh, malnourished. Measuring their arms with small pieces of color-coded tape. That's what the yellow tells you. The yellow tells you that this child is suffering from moderate malnutrition, acute malnutrition. David, this is a new admission. This child is the first time today. They are checking if any edema, and they're going to press three seconds on both feet. They are looking for swelling in the tissue, another sign of malnutrition. They find it. We witness the urgency, the cries, the boy being weighed in a red bucket, the quiet little girl waiting, and the baby, they write her weight on her arm. This little girl, Angelica, who is four, they wrap the tape around her tiny arm, the small window, revealing the red. Yeah, once again, a severely malnourished child. Showing her stomach to the aid workers. She is given fluids for dehydration and an antibiotic, unsure of its taste. What are we witnessing right now? Anyway. The baby boy. I, uh... from the scale. The okay, guys. The farmland. Now I am, uh... Now we find a village where we've been told mothers. The baby boy dangling from the scale where the children are weighed. I am this just, morning, David, uh... And I know that you're going to have so much more. It's going to be a lot. And we want people to know who are watching and if they'd like to help, that they can go to our homepage at abcnews.com. Thank you for being with us this morning, David. And Thank you, David, for, uh... for that, uh response about climate change and all these starving children uh, so now it, it mentioned in here that the uh, that the drought has been going on for five years in Madagascar I am looking at how many kids are we looking at here, guys? That look to me to be a hell of a lot younger than five years. Uh, how old is that kid? Yes, they are. Mother, why she made the journey. Okay, so this is a mother in Madagascar. She just lost her newborn baby. Uh, one of her, I guess, five children just died of starvation, basically. Uh, so this woman appears to me to be in her 20s. I'm guessing... These are her four children who have not starved to death because of famine. Because of the famine. And she tells us she has just lost one of her babies to hunger. Lost one of, she has lost one of her babies to hunger. We are looking at families who've all... Okay, can you, uh, I, let's look along. This is at one of these, uh, you know, feed the starving children uh, centers in Madagascar. There you go. Anyway, guys, I, I don't even think I need to uh, make any other point. I think we you have, had to come here I because think, of the famine. The magnitude of the crisis is so, so big, but you have people actually that do not have anything to do than just go. To leave the land. Yeah, to leave their house, to leave their land, to leave their village. The children... Anyway, get out there and uh, feed the starving children while you still can. But David Attenborough says... Uh, David Attenborough says the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Anyway, <laughs> enough said for today's Chronicle of the Collapse. Bye, guys.